we'll be doing the fifth question now fifth question is given sec theta is equal to 13 upon 12 find all other trigonometric ratios as i said if you know one ratio we can find all the other five total there are six ratios if one is given we can find out all the other ratios sec theta is 12 upon 13 upon 12 so let's draw a right angle triangle one angle is given theta theta ka sec theta is given second is given what is sec sec is nothing but hypotenuse upon adjacent hypotenuse upon adjacent ye theta ke liye ye hai adjacent so hypotenuse 13 k and adjacent is 12 k let me name its this triangle as abc any name you can give so let's find out the third side that is ab so what will be ab square ab square is nothing but ac square minus bc square that is 13 k square minus 12 k square 169k square minus 144k square which is nothing but 25k square. So AB is equal to 5k. So we got the third side as 5k. Now you can write all the remaining ratios. Let's list all the remaining ratios that is first ratio will be sine theta. What is sine theta? Look at the figure and say sin theta is 5k upon 13k which is 5 upon 13 second one is cos theta cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse 12 upon 13 then comes tan theta tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side which is 5 upon 12 now all its reciprocal becomes it is cosec theta cosec theta is 13 upon 5 sec theta which is already given sec theta is Nothing but 13 upon 12 which they have given already and the sixth one is cot theta which is a reciprocal of tan theta that is 12 upon 5. So basically what is this first type or first concept of this chapter is one ratio will be given using that ratio we can write any other trigonometric ratios. So this is the fifth question hope you are clear about the fifth question come to the sixth question. Sixth question, it's given if angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A is equal to cos B, show that angle A equal to angle B. It's given cos A is equal to cos B. Cos of angle A is same as cos of angle B for any two acute angles A and B. So A and B are acute angles. So let's name this is acute angle, this is acute angle. Let C be the right angle. So, given cos A is equal to cos B. So, what is cos A? Look at this figure and tell me what is cos A. It is adjacent side upon hypotenuse, which is nothing but AC upon AB is same as what is cos B. Look at this, cos of B. What is its adjacent side is BC upon AB. What does this imply? Dekhu, uska denominator is same. So, obviously, and this... Uh, numerator will be equal. So, this implies AC is equal to BC. Matlab, these two sides are equal. If two sides are equal, you had already studied in 9th standard. If two sides are equal, their opposite angles will be equal. Therefore, which is the opposite angles of AC? Angle B will be equal to BC ka opposite angle. You can write the reason in bracket. Since two sides are equal, their opposite angles are equal. Now come to the seventh question. There also one ratio is given. You have to find out the other ratios or find the value or something like that. Okay. Evaluate. Hai. So seventh question is cot theta is equal to 7 upon 8. Evaluate 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta okay this very very clear it's an identity which you had studied in smaller classes a plus b into a minus b you know it's a square minus b square so 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta upon 1 plus cos into 1 minus cos is nothing but 1 minus cos square theta using identity 
a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. Okay. Abhi cot theta is given. From that we will find out sine and cos and substitute in that. So what is given? Cot theta is 7 upon 8. So let's draw the triangle. So this is our question. Our question is this. So let's give one angle as theta. Cot. Cot is nothing but adjacent upon opposite. Adjacent is 7k and opposite is 8k. Using 7 and 8 we can find out this hypotenuse. Let me give its name ABC. Let's find out AC square. AC square is AB square plus BC square. AB square is 8k square plus 7k square which is 64k square plus 49k square which makes how much 9 plus 4 is 13. 113k square. Thus AC is under root of 113k. It's not a perfect square. So 113k. Now we got all the three sides. So our question is this. This is our question. So we can find out sin theta and cos theta and substitute into it. So what is sin theta? Look at the figure and tell me what is sin theta. What is sin theta in this? Sin of theta. Opposite side upon hypotenuse. So 1 minus sin square theta upon 1 minus cos square theta is equal to 1 minus. What is sin theta? 8 upon under root of 113 square upon 1 minus. What is cos theta? 7 upon under root of 113 the whole square. Now it is just an arithmetic work. 1 minus what will come? If it is 8 square upon under root of 113, 64 upon root 113 ka square is 113 itself. You know root 2 square is 2. So root 113 square is 113. 1 minus 7 upon 113. We will go for LCM. 113 we take LCM, 113 LCM, so this comes 113 minus 64 upon here also 113 LCM, 113, I am sorry, here it, it will come 49, 7 square is 49, so 113 LCM, so it will come 113 minus 49, so comes 113 and 113 cancels, so 113 minus 64. How much it is? 13 minus 4 is 9. 10 minus 6 is 49 upon what will be 13 minus 9 is uh, 4 and 10 minus 4 is 6. So 49 minus 64 is the answer. So cot theta is provided and we are finding out 1 minus sin square theta upon 1 minus cos square theta. Sin theta find out kar case mein dal diya. Cos theta find out kar case mein dal diya. Just do the arithmetic work. You will get the answer. This is the 7th question. Come to the 8th one. It's given 3 cot A is equal to 4. So obviously cot A will be 4 by 3. Check whether this is equal to this. That means left side and right side. Let's check LHS separately, RHS separately. Let's see whether it's right or not. If yes or no, let's try by giving the values. Given is 3 cot A is equal to 4. So, obviously cot A will be equal to 4 by 3. Cot A is 4 by 3. So, we can A cot A is 4 upon 3, cot A is adjacent side by hypoten uh, opposite side, so 4K and here 3K. So let me give its name ABC, obviously you can find out AC square, AC square is AB square plus BC square, 4K square is 16K square plus 9K square is nothing but 25K square, thus AC is equal to 5K. 
So I will write here 5k. So we got all the three sides. Now whatever you want you can do it. So we want to verify whether left side and right side are equal. So let's find out LHS that is LHS is what's LHS 1 minus tan square a upon 1 plus tan square a 1 minus tan square a upon 1 plus tan square a let's give the values 1 minus what is tan a tan a is nothing but 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 square will become 9 by 16 upon 1 plus 9 by 16 let's go for lcm 16 you get 16 minus 9 upon 16 lcm 16 plus 9 so 16, 16 gets cancelled. 16 minus 9 is 7 upon 16 plus 9 is 25. So we are getting this as LHS. Let's keep there 7 upon 25. And let's check our RHS. The RHS will be, if it is same, then we can agree. They are right, otherwise no. So RHS, what is RHS? RHS, they are given cos square A minus sin square A. Cos square A minus sin square A. What is cos square A? What is cos square A? In that figure, how was it? The triangle was, this was A. Cot A is 4 by 3. This is 4K, this is 3K. And this is 5k. Uh, now cos square a. Cos square a will be 4 upon 5. So 4 upon 5 square. 4 upon 5 square minus sin square a. That is 3 upon 5 square. So it will be 16 by 25 minus 9 by 25 which is equal to 7 upon 25. So you can see LHS and RHS are equal. So verify. So you can write LHS equal to RHS. So it, yes, it's equal. Thus, it can be verified. We can evaluate. We can find out other ratios. Many things can be done if we know one trigonometric ratio. Come to the ninth question. In a triangle ABC, right angled at B. So with two sub questions are there. One I will be doing, one you have to do it at home. Okay. The ninth first question I will be doing. First question. What is the first question? Ninth is given tan A is equal to 1 upon tan A is equal to 1 upon root 3. So as usual, we will draw the triangle tan A is tan. You know tan is opposite side upon hypotenuse. So I am giving 1k and root 3k. Using root 3 and 1 we can find out AB. AB square is nothing but AC square minus BC square. AC square is root 3k square root 3k square minus 1k square root 3k square is 3k square minus 1k square which is 2k square so AB is nothing but root 2k. So we got all the three sides. Now we have to evaluate the first question. First question is sin A cos C. Sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. Learn this nicely so that you can do the second sum. Second I will not do because it is exactly same. Sin A cos C. Sin A. Look at the figure. Sin A. Opposite side upon hypotenuse. K to cancel ho jayega. 1 upon root 3. Sin A cos C. Matlab it's multiplication. Cos C. Cos C. Cos C is also adjacent side upon hypotenuse. 1 upon root 3. Plus cos A sin C. Cos A. Cos A. Root 2 upon root 3 into sin C. Sin C is nothing but root 2 upon root 3. So you are getting 1 by root 3 into 1 by root 3 is 1 by 3 plus root 2 into root 2 is 2, 2 upon 3. So you are getting 3 upon 3. The answer is 1. The same way, second one, ninth second one, you have to try. You have to try, nay, you will get it. You can do it. So this is the ninth one. Now come to tenth question. Tenth question is, in triangle PQR, right angled at Q, 
right angled at Q. So PQR right angled at Q. It's given PR plus QR is 25. So it's given PR plus QR is 25. So let me give one side as X. So total 25 hai to PR will be nothing but 25 minus X. And PQ is clearly given 5. Now using this, we can easily calculate X. You know Pythagoras theorem can be applied. So we know that. So I am giving let QR is equal to X. Therefore, PR is equal to 25 minus X. Okay. Now, I will apply Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, PQ square plus QR square is equal to PR square. So, it will come X square plus 5 square is equal to 25 minus X, the whole square. X square plus 25 is equal to, this is A minus B the whole square. A minus B the whole square, if you square it, it will come 625. Minus 50x plus x square. Hope I don't need to explain it because a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. From both the sides x square goes. Minus 50x I am bringing here as 50x. 625 minus 25 which becomes 600. 50x is equal to 600 becomes x is equal to 600 upon 50 makes it 12. So this side has become 12 and this side has become 25 minus 12 that is 13. Now you got all the three sides. When you get all the three sides whatever you want you can find out. They are asking sin p, cos p and tan p. So our question is sin p, cos p and tan p. Please write what is sin p? Sin p opposite upon hypotenuse which is 12 upon 13. What is cos p? 5 upon 13 and what is tan p? Opposite upon adjacent side that is 12 upon 5. So all three you got. Now the concept which we learned it's very simple all six ratios. Seeing that, analyzing that, learning that thoroughly, learning all these 10 questions, 11th state true or false you have to do because there is no meaning I am saying this is true, this is false. So please try this. So two questions I am giving 9th, second one and 11th question I am giving this for you to do it at home. So first concept is uh, done. First concept is trigonometric ratios, basic trigonometric ratios and how if we know one ratio, how can we find out the other ratios. You can even go through the examples, worked out examples are given in the textbook. 1, 2, 3, 4 examples are given, 5, 5 examples are given. So you can go through that, you can do that also and then the first concept is over. So in the next uh, class we will be doing the second concept. Like this, four concepts are there in the lesson.